This is a, a study that looked at the question, what role does the smart grid have in helping the nation meet its carbon management goals? Altogether, we looked at, at a bunch of direct and indirect mechanisms that the smart grid can help. They add up to about a 12% uh, reduction in the carbon output from our electric power grid. You lay that up against a 30% or a 20% carbon goal, that's a very substantial contribution. Electric vehicles, if they come about at some point, may give us another 5%. So uh, an example of a direct mechanism is the, the power grid loses about 6 or 8% on average of the energy, the electricity that is generated in the course of sending it to your home or business. Uh, and we can use advanced technology, especially down at the distribution level, to manage voltages very carefully and save maybe 10% of that loss, 20% of that loss. That's uh, like a 2% energy savings for the nation if we can do that. That's a very important contribution. An indirect savings mechanism um, is to help us manage the fluctuations in wind and solar output. Uh, to do that today requires power plants that you can throttle up and down that are always in reserve standby mode ready to pick up the slack. Um, if we can do that instead by using the load and storage that's located down at customer premises to do the same thing, then we can eliminate the investment in those power plants and make that same investment in more renewables. Another important uh, use of this information in this report is to help uh, the people that develop technologies focus their technologies on not just smart grid benefits but the carbon benefits as well. The most important conclusion of the report is that the smart grid is not the, the answer to our carbon problem, but it has a very important contribution to make in helping us solve that.